Good morning, y'all. Okay, so another early morning, another early message. I'm an early bird, so. All right, so today's message is gossiping and gossipers. Gossiping and gossipers. Okay, how many of us know gossipers? Okay, how many of us um have maybe family members or friends who we know there are some true gossipers okay i think we all do all right all right so gossipers another definition for gossipers to me is the neighborhood news such as the neighborhood fox news the neighborhood as trump would say fake news because some of them be bringing some fake news you know, just the news in general. Somebody that's just sitting around waiting for the next best thing to tell. All right. And let's talk about gossip. All right. So at one point, y'all, in life, in a different time, they used to take muzzles and put them over, you know, it was more so of the women that was gossiping in those days, stirring up trouble. So they used to take muzzles and put it over women's mouth, you know, to shut them up, basically. That was a way for humanity to find a way to shut up a gossiper okay and how many of all of us want sometimes all the time for gossipers to just you know shut up all right all right okay so gossiping let me let's talk about it gossiping gossiping does so much damage you know it's, it's ridiculous all right because let me tell you about gossiping and you know when i say they be bringing fake news is that they got some sort of the truth in there but they be putting their own ad libs in there you know how you be watching the news and the media sometimes the media be going too far like they be reaching and you can tell when they reaching you feel what i'm saying that's why i can't watch it it's, it's too much they always want to give you the bad and two percent of the the good and then 90 percent of the bad so you just think that we live in an all evil world you feel me so gossiping I never been the one to gossip because I don't care about drama. Drama never drove me. Um, hurting people or spreading people's business, I never really cared or thought about that. And you know what? Um, people have trusted me to tell me their deepest, darkest things. Or I have been in the middle where I'm cool with people and they don't like each other, so both of them talking trash to me. But I know that they know that I'm I'm not gonna go back and repeat nothing they said. You know why? Because, you know, they both have an opinion about somebody, but I feel like everybody's allowed to vent. Okay, you can vent. You know, if you don't like a person, everybody, not everybody gonna get along. Not everybody gonna love you like you feel what I'm saying. But you are allowed to vent. When you let it out and vent, it keeps you from doing more crazy stuff out here. Okay, so if you are the person being vented to, you are to be trusted to just. Keep it to yourself. And if you are going to tell somebody, I suggest you tell your man. Or if you, if it's a man being gossip too, you just tell your girl, somebody that you know they ain't going to say nothing and repeat, okay? So, I'm trying to tell y'all, like, people done told me some crazy stuff. And I never cared to, to go back and repeat it because I know what can happen out of that chaos. And you know... It could be somebody that turned around and did me dirty that I know something about. But I never got off of hurting someone or making someone feel stupid. In fact, I just found out some hurtful information that had something to do with me. And um, I was able to just chill around this person yesterday. And, you know, I could have been like, you know, blew, blew the spot out of stuff. But I don't care about that. You know, I feel like we're going around, coming around, you know. With my thinking and my belief, it'll come back on you. You feel what I'm saying? I ain't got to do nothing. It's another way like vengeance is the Lord. Yeah, I leave it all. I don't got time for that. I ain't here for that. But gossipers, y'all. All right. Gossipers. Y'all got to stop. And you know with gossiping, a lot of times they're going to tell everybody business but their own. They're going to tell everybody flaws and household business but their own. They ain't telling none of their business. They just telling everybody business, okay? And um, how many of y'all sometimes you run the gossipers just to get the tea? Yeah, not me. I don't, I don't care about that. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't, I don't like that. I don't care. All right, so gossiping, y'all. A lot of times with gossiping, for example, it could be like this. 
somebody vented to somebody and say, yeah, um, me and him got into it. And he left, you know what I'm saying? He didn't come back all night or whatever, you know? And, you know, you know, just venting. That's called venting. But sometimes the wrong gossiper, somebody will ask him, yo, what happened to such and such over there? Oh, yeah. Um, he left the house because he was cheating on her. And um, she, he was out all night and he went to the strip club. And, um, yeah, and then, yeah, let me say, you know, and... and I don't know what that was. Somebody getting mad, y'all. It must be a gospel. But anyway, yeah, they be putting their own ad libs in the story talking about, yeah, and, and then he slapped the kids and then he hit her and then you got the listener like, oh yeah, girl, that's great. Oh man, that's crazy. You feel what I'm saying? Because both sides, each each gender does gospel. You I, you find gossip in any race and any gender all over the world. They all over. You feel what I'm saying? And let's say that two gossipers are telling this story well you got the one that already put the ad libs and then you got this one who's about to go put more ad libs and it's just ridiculous so now when people see the um girl or the guy now you know they're being looked at sideways because of so many untold so many things that was told that's untrue from gossiping and you know gossipers sometimes they don't sleep until they get some dirt on somebody because that drives them Drama drives people sometimes. Drama drives. People love to see chaos sometimes. People love to see people hurt sometimes. People love to damage households and stuff sometimes. I mean, because most of the time they're probably damaged. Or they come from a damaged place. Or um, they just simply don't care. Most of the time when you gossip and you're spreading bad news. Now, I ain't talking about the blogs and the media. That's a whole different... I, I, don't, I don't know about none of that. I guess they say that's their job. But it's still wrong to spread lies if you spread in lies it's wrong you shouldn't even spread nobody business period but we all have a choice we we all decide to do what we want to do but i'm just saying i i'm just not with it you know what i'm saying i don't i don't like none of that but anyway now you got this girl looking like a, a, a we would say a fool but this guy looking like he's just a, a unfit man unfit father he, you know what i'm saying all because of what someone else said you know and you guys when we go vent there should only be one or two people in reality that we 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 know for sure that we could vent to you know what i'm saying everybody needs to be able to vent to let out that emotion to to keep from keeping the cycle going or just to keep going further further you know what i'm saying everybody deserves to vent and that's what we come into play y'all you know we are supposed to coexist Humans are supposed to help each other in a way. So if somebody's coming to you with some hurt and pain and they want to vent and let it out, that is your time to be their therapist and help them get through it. Not for you to take an advantage and go run and tell everything and go create stuff so you can feel good about yourself. And at the end of the day, they probably don't feel good about themselves. Just, I don't know, man. I don't know how they feel because I'm not a gossiper, but it's annoying. It's so annoying. Um, let's talk about telling everything okay some people we just want to vent and tell everything and then you get mad when something gets out that you don't want well you got to stop telling your business stop putting your business on front street you know a lot of things i do if i'm going through something crazy like if i'm going through a a, a, a issue with me and my man the only two people i'm gonna call that i know that they ain't gonna say nothing and they're gonna give me both point of views they're not gonna be one-sided they're gonna give me the truth is my mother and my sister. That's it. If I can't get in contact with them, I'm not talking to nobody. It's me and God at this point. You're, or it's just me and him straight up. Me and my man straight up, okay? Usually, I try to take it to my man straight up. If he don't understand, you know, I believe in God. I pray about it all the time, but I need a quick response. So, I call my mom and my sister. Yo, they the only persons, only people um, that I will call for anything to tell something deep, dark, and I don't even be having no deep dark, you know. If I had a deep dark, I'm telling that to God. But to help me get through or to get something off my chest, I'll call my mom and my sister. Because saying it to the wrong person may put something in my mind to do something totally opposite or just somebody to um, spread my business. For example, y'all, let me tell you something. Uh, like a couple years ago, me and my man have been together for a minute. 
So a couple years ago, right, I had a friend who I felt like she was mad because, like, you know when you get in a relationship, you kind of cut people off. Not too, not like that, but you got you, you in love. You just want to be with your man. So I was one of those, you know what I'm saying? I was always wanting to be in a loving relationship. So I finally found that. And me and I was kicking it and stuff like that. So I felt like she felt some type of way because she wasn't in a relationship and I'm happy. You know what I'm saying? I'm always with him. And then she's not with nobody. All right. And then she used to say to me, like, um, you always with him. That's how it start, y'all. You always with him. You just forgot about us. You just left us hanging. And how many of y'all know that you don't know what somebody capable of? We, we all wear, people all wear masks. And you never know what somebody could be capable of. And some of the greatest people that let you down and surprise you with some of the stuff they did, right? Well, this was a situation for me. So, um, I guess me just, you know, they would say acting a little different. But I was just like, in the moment, like, you know what I mean? Like, I was so happy. We kicking it and stuff like that. So, um, one time, me and my man, he used to be in the streets, you know. Not like that, you know, but, you know, hustle. Um, yeah, so, one time, you know how you got those little fake little apps where you could just send a message from, like, playing on people's phone? So, yeah, I was one of those victims, y'all, but I by one of my homies, my, one of my homegirls. And to this day, I believe it was my homegirl. Let me tell you. All right. I got, it was the, it was at the time that my homegirl knew that me and my man was beefing. So, I'm at work. And out of the blue, I get a message from a crazy looking number saying, such and such is my man. And I appreciate it if you left him alone or something. You know, it didn't, it didn't sit right with me. Because, you know, you know, y'all. You would get that sense when you feel like your man creeping or when he doing something. I ain't never get that. I just felt like that he just needed to stay away from trouble. Like the crowd, his friends, I felt like they were the the ones that were in the way, his friends. Now, I ain't in denial. If a man cheating, I'm, I'm at his neck. I'll run up in his phone. Look, I seen it. What's up? So me being in denial, never. All right. So um, I got a random text message. And I tried to call a number, but it wasn't a working number. It was like a fake number, right? So um, I'm crying at work. I used to wear Applebee's, crying. I used to work everywhere, crying. And the people at the job just looking at me like, what's wrong? I'm just so historic because it's so believable because me and my man beefing right now. And then I get a random text message, and I don't know where. You know, I'm going off. So I immediately run to his mom's house, right? And I'm crying to her. And she's like, what's going on? Okay, paso. She speaks Spanish. What's going on? Da, 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 da. So I call my man, right? And in the middle of beefing, you know, we already not seeing eye to eye. So I call him and I'm like, yo, why you out here? Da, 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 you out here? Da, da, da. And he like, yo, what you talking about? So his mom got on the phone like, yo, what you doing to her? Da, 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 da. He was like, yo, what's going on? What are y'all talking about? So he just banged on us, right? I was heartbroken, y'all. I cried. His mom was like, I'm sorry. I didn't know that it was like this. So his, you know, I cried, cried. I went home. I, I went home. Um, his mom was digging in his behind. Like, well, how could you do that to her? You know, da, 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 right? So we broke up for like a week, right? I was heartbroken for like a week. So, you know, but I kept thinking something wasn't sitting right. I'm like, hold on. Now, if it was creeping I, I was around him way too much than I see the signs. You know, signs be there. I'm running his phone. Like, I was, you know, phone is available for me. And a lot of times when they creep in, the phone's not going to be available to you. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, we was broken up for a week. And in that week, I told my homegirls, I'm like, yo, I can't sit here, y'all. I need to get out. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. So, one of my homegirls that I thought had something to do with it. And she, if she see this video, we may have a discussion one day. It is what it is. But I ain't never bring it to her. I ain't never do this. You know what I'm saying? But um, we went out and we went for drinks. I'm from Philly, so we went to a place called Fat Tuesday. We were getting lit, okay? We were drunk, right? And out of nowhere, this girl started crying. Like, crying, 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 crying. Like, all over the table crying like somebody just died, right? So, um... We was we was looking at her like, yo, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Mind you, we came out for me because I was, you know, I needed time off, heartbroken stuff. So we like caught her man, um, 
she had somebody she was talking to. So we like, call him, call him, right? So he on the phone. We was like, yo, we don't know what's up. She just crying. He's like, I don't know what's wrong with her either. You know what I'm saying? Um, well, uh, what's going on? I'm here. She knows I'm She knows I'm here. Why, why is she crying? Yo, she was historically crying, y'all. So that same night, my homegirls was being a little messy. So I knew that I ain't want this for the rest of my life. Just to be kicking out, you know, being messy every night drinking. You know, nah, nah, I ain't with all that. So the same night I went home, it was like 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. I thought, I said, I need closure. I need to call him. I need some closure. I call him 2, 3 o'clock in the morning expecting some girl to pick up or whatever. Me ready to go, go in cut somebody out, whatever, and he picks up. It was it shocked me that he picked up. And it's like he's waiting to speak to me, right? So, um, yeah, you know, he picked up and we 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 got off the phone. I fell asleep. He didn't believe that I received text message that somebody was playing on my phone. So, um, that night we called each other. I called him and I was like, yo, so what's going on? Like, why am I getting these? He's like, what text message are you talking about? Da, da, da. He didn't believe me. He thought I was just stirring up more. Because how many know women could just keep going overboard, you know? So um, that day, he was with his friends, the ones I don't like, well, I didn't like. Uh, I screenshotted the messages, and I sent it to him, and, but I fell asleep. The next day, y'all, I had like 30 phone calls, like 25 messages from him. Like, yo, we need to talk. You need to come to my house. Da, 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 da. This ain't, I don't know what this is. What's going on? I thought you were playing. Who's doing this? Da, 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 da. You need to come to my house. Da, 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 da. So I woke up. I seen all these text messages, all these phone calls, right? And I immediately went over to his house. And, um, you know, it was so sweet because we were apart from each other for like a week. And I know both of us was heartbroken, but we didn't know what to do. Something just came in the middle and we didn't know what to do, right? But immediately when we seen each other, we just hugged each other and cried because we just like, yo, what happened? So we talked about it. He was like, I didn't know you were serious about those text messages. So I'm like, yo, one of your homies, you need to tell me, who are you messing with and who is texting my phone? Because, you know, what's up? And he like, yo, no, that ain't, that ain't, that ain't me. I don't know what's this. And, and they ain't none of my homies, whatever. And the whole time, y'all, it didn't make sense to me because... If I if he was talking to girls, you know, he ain't like that. He ain't that bright to be all nah, not like that. You and me, I'm just too much on your top for you to get stuff past me, right? It didn't sit right. I told my mom, because she was checking up on I'm like, Mom, I, I don't feel right because I feel like if he was messing with girls, it would have it would have been signs or something. I would have caught something. This just don't feel right. And you know, you gotta go with your tuition, y'all. And intuition. It don't feel right. Now, I've been cheated on before, dogged. Okay, so I know I've been dogged, and and with signs weren't there. Okay, because I was getting dogged. But this one ain't feel right. I'm like, this don't feel right. So we talked about it. He said, Yo, I thought you were trying to. Well, we talked about it. Slowly but surely, over time, things start clicking. Like, yo. She was crying all crazy, Randy. You know how the truth be coming out when you're drunk. And um, I felt like she did that to me, bro. I felt like she did that to me. And I don't even know why I took y'all there, but yeah. I felt like she did this. And on top of that, yo, I had another homegirl. I used to hang around like homegirls. And um, she went and told some stranger in my business about me and my man, what we're going through, right? And then I'm looking like a fool. They said, she, my, my homie was like, yo, come out with us. I'm going to my mom's house. We're having a party, whatever. I like Spanish parties. I like Spanish people, you know? So we went to the party, whatever. And um, yeah, so she's just like, it's a stranger, a girl who comes to me and said, so they brought you out tonight, huh? I looked at her like, did she just come? Because she know my best. Did this girl just, oh, yo, I just wanted to sock everybody. But you know, I just, remove myself from that situation and I just cut that girl completely off because she told something that was so personal and so emotional to me I couldn't trust her with nothing else you know what I'm saying so I just completely cut her off you're not about to make me look like a fool out here and that's what gossiping does you know gossipers people that don't want to see you do good or be happy that's what they do you know what I'm saying make you look like a fool and I say you feed them with a the long spoon if you're going to be around them or just separate yourself completely listen I'd rather be friendless than to be around some fake people all right I ain't like that you know I ain't the one to be arguing with girls or arguing in general 
my temper is too i'm working on it it's too too much to just want it to fight so i gotta fall back from people like that and that's what i had to do y'all and you have to learn but i learned you know and i fell back so my point to gossipers fall back from them if you know they're no good fall back from them because not to person they're not going to change you know what i'm saying they ain't changing but fall back and i didn't want to make this video too long get y'all a little bit my business but yeah fall back from gossipers they just stir up chaos they start stuff if you are the one that's listening to some drama keep it to yourself because not to person people sometimes they just vent into you they trust you not to keep going back and telling people stuff stop it y'all it's that's annoying you ain't getting paid to be gossiping. And the bloggers and the media, they get paid for that. They do what they do, whatever. But you ain't getting paid, y'all. You just sitting around just telling everybody's business, just waiting for the next moment. Tell somebody, come on, bro. Like, that's so annoying. But, you know, everybody has a free will. Ain't nobody going to think like me or you. It's just for the people who, who want to get away from that. Fall back. Don't be afraid to just be by yourself for a minute. You know what I'm saying? It's better to be alone than to be in some fake you know, situations, you know what I'm saying, stay away from gossipers, um, you give them their own muzzle, you put a muzzle on them by you just separating from them, you feel what I'm saying, give them the muzzle by you separating, let them think about it, and if they ain't gonna think about it, let them find somebody else to just pick on, you feel what I'm saying, what goes around usually comes around, and usually when you gossiping, you're unhappy, usually when you're trying to cause chaos, that comes from a hurt place, People are hurt. Hurt people do hurt people. You feel what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, fall back. And don't become a victim to you start to gossip. You make a difference. Be the change that you really want to see. And that's what I'm trying to do, y'all. Sorry for the long video. I hope somebody take the point of the message. Whoever just went through a situation like I just told you when it was me and my man, think about your intuition. Know you and know, like, analyze yourself before you keep talking to everybody else. I, most of the time your intuition is never going to lie to you your heart may lie but your intuition is never going to lie to you all right everybody got it women's i'm i'm more in tune with it but you know everybody got it but um that's enough y'all what's today happy monday i hope that you all receive your stimulus check to uh, pay your bills and yeah be blessed remember the creator be fearless be loved and don't gossip you guys have a great day